Welcome back. The Real TV Critics' Choice nominations came out last week. I was fortunate enough to be on several of the nominating committees. They call them pods. So I was on a few pods for different categories. And so, I mean, technology the way it is, you send the TV show send screeners, yeah. and I can watch them, and then via very numerous long email chains Ooh. with your fellow critics from across the country. <laughs> I mean, it was so hard to keep track of all the emails because mm -hmm. you're... You're, you're basically nominating a show and then defending why you like that show. Oh, gotcha. So it's a lot of writing, but then you have to keep reading all of your um, fellow critics' thoughts and really analyzing them and trying to make the right choice. Are you like still on the other side? Are you still not in alliance with a lot of them? I, I will yeah. just say this. Without, I'm not going to name names. And I'm not going to name shows. Yeah. I will say this other critic and I differed a lot on one show. Oh, I mean... On just on one. Yeah, I mean, we're kind of a consensus on a lot, but it came down to one particular show, which I won't mention. But I'm just like, I didn't think it was going to be such a point of contention. Well, you should probably just tell him he's wrong. <laughs> well, <laughs> or she. It was a lot of emails about this one particular show. But can't people have different opinions? That's what I tried to That's explain. What I'm but in they the, don't think. They so. don't. Oh, they don't think so. But I was. Here's the thing. I felt. I felt validated that like, okay, let's say there's eight in our pod. All seven of us agreed on the show, oh. except for that one. Really? Mm -hmm. hmm. I'm not naming any, I'm not revealing any secrets. My mom it's just and grandma a, always said, when everybody else is out of line, you should take a look at the drummer. Yourself. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> that's very you good. You should take a look at yourself. And again, I'm not trying to reveal any secrets about pods or what, what happens. Like, that part is, you know, we keep confidential. But it's just, it's a good, fun debate right. to talk about, oh, I love this show, and, yes. and feel people's passion about why they love it. Okay. So I just thought we'd look at a few categories. Mm -hmm. I'm not even gonna tell you which one on the committee I was on, because I'm not okay, allowed to tell you. Okay. I just picked random categories that were nominated. So let's take a look at Best Culinary Show. Now, Ozark's Foxanne was not nominated for this, Sorry. just so you know. Oh, seriously? Not now, nominated. Now, you voted for us, you better. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would vote for myself if I was up there. I was gonna say. <laughs> Let me tell you the nominees. Cooking with Paris from Netflix. Crime Scene Kitchen, Fox. Remember Crime Scene Kitchen? Yeah, I do, with, I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is It Cake, Netflix. Magnolia Table with Joanna Gaines, the Magnolia Network. Great British Baking Show, Netflix. And Top Chef, Bravo. Any thoughts, ladies, immediately? Okay, I'm going to tell you the one show I've seen on this, and it's kind of embarrassing. Is It Cake. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Why is that embarrassing, Nav? Well, have you watched it? Yeah, I have. I have. Oh, well, the good. Yes, okay. I have. Yeah, it's just one of those, like, the kids and I sat and watch it, and it, it's fun. It's but did you identify what was cake? Uh, rarely. They were good. Man, they were really good. Wow. Yeah. Would, there would be a shape of something and you'd have to decide if it was good. No, there were, two, there were two purses. One was cake, cake and one was a purse. Oh, or they put incredible. like five ducks out there and these people were really good. That like, would be interesting. Very interesting. It was challenging. Yeah. It's fun. Surprising me, Natalie, you've not watched this. Uh, Magnolia Table? No, the great British baking show. Yeah, I know. That's up your alley. I know. I need to get into it. Maybe I, I will. There's been like a bajillion seasons. You're way behind. Mm, I'm way behind. Well, maybe that's what I, I need to get in. I have heard of the Top Chef Bravo, and, mm -hmm. and I did enjoy Crime Scene that we saw on the show. Oh, really? I, I thought that was interesting. Yes, and we had two of the, the bakers on the, uh, are up in uh, the St. Louis, St. Joe area. I thought it was Columbia. Columbia, I mean. I'm sorry. I was getting my people. Yes. We had them on the show. They're lovely. Cooking with Paris was a delightful, a delightful hit because... Paris um, Hilton? Yes. Really? Oh, my. Because she doesn't take herself seriously. And it was chaos. Like chaos in the like, kitchen? Like with us. And I'm like, <laughs> she made tons of mistakes. She was not trying to be perfect. Yeah. It was just kind of like, okay, we'll okay. make glitter cupcakes and just throw all the glitter. You know, I've watched Top Chef Junior. I really enjoyed that one. You? But I, I don't really watch a lot yeah. of Top Chef. So what, what did okay. you pick out of this? I can't tell you. What? I can't tell you yet. Oh. Okay. I'm, I still have to vote. We haven't voted yet. Okay, let's go to the, best, <laughs> let's go to the next show. Next category is... Best Lifestyle Home Garden Show, Celebrity IOU, Fixer Upper Welcome Home, Houses with History, Married to Real Estate, Million Dollar Listing Los Angeles, and Rock the Block. Oh, I've seen a couple of these. Have you? Okay, I think so. Um, I'm not sure which one. Um, Maybe Fixer Upper. I thought this was really fun. Did you watch it, Rock the Block? Oh, did you like that? I really did like it. You no, know, it's very fun. I thought it was a fun, easy show to watch, but I also love Million Dollar Listing Los Angeles, too. I watched that in the bathtub the other day. It was fun. I was relaxing, so yeah, yeah. I had to. You don't have to think much. Um, yeah. I, I, I really do love, and I'm not trying to play favorites or anything, uh, Married to Real Estate mm -hmm. um, is Mike and Egypt Sherrod, who I adore, and I'm interviewing them in a week. Mm. And Egypt Sherrod used to be on HGTV. She hosted a show called Property Virgins mm -hmm. and then Flipping Virgins. And then she, I mean, she texts people who's their first time doing anything and shows them how to yeah. do it. And okay. I love, she's just a really nice person. Like, I thought, we'd be friends. Yeah. You know, if I knew her, I think we'd yeah. be friends. Yeah. Uh, but they're all good. And Celebrity IOU, if you want to cry. Because <laughs> it's so heartwarming. I oh. cried too much. Dude. I was going to say, Forrest Gump. <laughs> I'm just saying, because celebrities take people you who... Watch, 
Joanna Gaines? I have seen some of that, yeah. I mean, her work's yeah. is, uh, top notch. Yeah, it is. So. Okay, let's go to the next category. I bet you're going to pick your friend. I know, I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm not even friends with her. I don't even know her yet. <laughs> Best ensemble cast in an unscripted series, Dancing with the Stars, RuPaul's Drag Race, The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Oh, Natalie, there we go. Real World Homecoming New Orleans, The Voice, and Top Chef. Okay. Now, I kind of picked this category because I knew Natalie is also a fan of this show. So. I think that's the only one I've seen on this one. And I'm a fan. I'd vote for it. I love Dancing with the Stars. Yeah, Dancing with the yeah. Stars. It's fun. Okay, we're running out of time. Let's go to the next one. Okay. Best show host, Mayim Bialik. Daniel, uh, I can't remember the name of that show. Daisy Samero. Sorry, that's what I'm looking for. Padma Lakshmi, Trevor Noah, John Oliver, and RuPaul. Any hosts jump out at you? I actually watched her host for the first time last night. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, good. I think she does a great job. Yeah, she does. She I does mean, it's well. not the same without um, Alex. Yeah, Alex Trebek, but. It's a, it's a tough category, though. They're mm -hmm. all good. Uh, let's move on to the next one quickly. Male star of the year. Jeff Goldblum, Robert Irvine, Trevor Noah, Phil Rosenthal, RuPaul, and Stanley Tucci. I don't know. Okay. No. <laughs> They've never seen that. And again, I don't want to say yet which way I'm voting. I kind of am leaning a certain way. Okay. But I'll vote in a couple weeks. Maybe if we hold them down and tickle yeah. them, they'll yeah. tell us. Oh, tickle fight. <laughs> Female star of the year. Samantha Bee, Kelly Clarkson, Joanna Gaines, Selena Gomez, Pat Lakshmi, and Sandra Lee. Okay. I will say Sandra Lee has the advantage because she's won. I can't watch that. I'm she's sorry. won many I years in a row. I can't watch that. Um, I do love Kelly Clarkson, and mm -hmm. I do like her show. Kelly Clarkson! <laughs> she's very, very. Okay. But I love Joanna Gaines, too. Uh, yeah, I do, too. Yeah. So just okay. some fun categories. It was fun to nominate, and we love reality TV. So. Yeah, we do. <laughs> All right. Stick around, guys. We're going to have some strawberry bread and strawberry lemonade. Yay! Yay.